Hello, Board of Directors, Sunset Harbor South. It's Paul Sassaville and Sherry Binder from the gym committee. We are poolside here at the Sunset Harbor Resort Deck and Amenity Level. We want to talk about some improvements. So we're excited that this repair has begun and we are ready to talk about what we need for the gym. So come on with me and let's get this done. Yay. So we're going to make it short and sweet and we're really pleased with the Fitness Smith quotes that we have. The idea is that this is the only open amenity in the building and people are using it more than ever. You'll see now it's just a little after four on a Monday afternoon and it's starting to fill up. So all of the residents tell us that the cardio is one of the most important pieces of the gym. The cardio equipment is original, it's been here a long time and we're going to begin here at the, at the uh, what do you call these here, a bike? Well, yeah, it's a, it's a bike. So we, we've, uh, we've always gone back and forth on Peloton or the Connect Extra, and now we've decided echelon. at Echelon, well, we're proposing a surge bike so that the, the uh, residents can use their own music and put their own workout. There's no subscription to it. This is one of the best in the industry. Right, saves us money too. Which we love. So currently there are two ellipticals and like a ski machine. We're gonna replace one of the ellipticals with either a woodway or a curve uh, treadmill. These also really engage the full body and it's something that are always used. Sometimes you'll come to the gym and every one of the treadmills is finished. Then our other gym committee member, Cody Patrick, has said that these machines here are no longer uh, used. So and this is a, a back extension. And no longer safe. They think this is a danger. Even if we didn't have a nickel for gym improvements, they want this removed. A lot of injuries, the net, it's, it's not a natural uh, movement for the back. So this is gonna be removed. Then this is an ineffective ab machine. So we're proposing to take this out and this out, and then that wall will be a kettlebell rack. Uh, a former, kettlebell rack. Uh, yet Paul Kilrain, who was on the gym committee, has donated the kettlebells, and we'll add the rack, which is in the proposal. Um, moving uh, to additional equipment, here's our kettlebell rack here. Additionally, this is a and we're gonna, hyper... we're gonna put mirrors on that wall for the kettlebell worker out or... <laughs> Yeah, so this is a, also a back hyper extension. This is unsturdy. These are simple, simple to replace. It's gonna be a little bit more compact and what we've been trying to do is come up with more workout space and make more efficient use of our space here. Moving over to the, what are we on? The north side of the gym. This very large crossover is super popular but takes up quite a bit of the gym we have found a replacement crossover that's going to fit over here under the socket here it's going to have all of the functionality all of the pieces we're going to open up all of the space and it's going to be you know like from here to here we're going to get huge it's going to be here and it's going to open up all of this space um, we're going to have with that open space um, over there and over here we're going to have a new incline bench and a new chest machine. So the fitness smith uh, included with the proposal is going to help us like lay it all out. But this gives us cardio. This gives us biking. This gives us kettlebells. This gives us hyper back extension. This gives us chest press. This gives us crossover. And uh, I think we're going to be the best looking building in South Beach when this is finished. So thanks for listening. Please call Sherry Binder or Paul Sassaville. We'll be participating on the Thursday meeting. And it's a very reasonable price. And we also have some trade-in money from the pieces that are going to be removed. Thank you.